don't like a man who whines that the cards were stacked against him or that the umpire cheated. We admire the chap who, when he must take his medicine, takes it cheerfully, bravely. To play the game steadily is a merit, whether the game be a straight one or crooked. A thoroughbred, even though bad, has more of our respect than the craven who cleaves to the proprieties solely from fear to violate them. It has well been said, the mistakes which make us men are better than the accuracies that keep us children. Yes, he went and stole our steers, so of course he had to die. I ain't shedding any tears, but when I cash in, say I, want to take it like that guy. Laughing, joking with the rest, not a whimper, not a cry, standing up to meet the test, till we swung him clear and high, with his face turned toward the west. Here's the way it looks to me. Cattle thief's no thing to be, but if you take up that trade, be the best one ever made. If you've got a thing to do, do it strong and see it through. That was him. He played the game, took his chances, bet his hand. When at last the showdown came and he lost, he kept his sand. Didn't weep and didn't pray, didn't waver or repent. Simply tossed his cards away, known well just what it meant. Never claimed the deck was stacked, never called the game a snide. Acted like a man should act, took his medicine, and died. So I say it here again, what I think is true of men. They should try to do what's right, fair and square and clean and white. But whatever is their line, bad or good or foul or fine, let him go to the limit, play like a plunger. That's the way. <laughs>